Oh. I'm straight up gonna cuddle this tonight. I'm gonna cuddle you so hard. I know that there are a handful of you guys watching this video just doing one of these things, like, how's this bitch? gonna lie to us one more time. I know there's like five of you, I guarantee it. And you know what? Today's video is dedicated to you because in the last three years of all the ups and downs and mostly pauses of this car not even running, have you ever seen something like that? No, you haven't. I have some of the coolest partners involved with this car. No, this isn't an ad. This is just saying that there are some companies out there that believe in me, believe in the idea of breaking some records, pushing this thing hard, and as a result, I have some of the coolest products on this car. Let's take a look at what it takes to run an insane four-rotor. I'm gonna be assembling the engine. You don't wanna see it, it's, it's sitting right uh, there <laughs> on the ground. I'm not even gonna show it to you, I promise. But I'm gonna get it back onto the engine stand, uh, built apex, nattered, got the oil panel set. This is a flurry of activity. It's all in these hands to mess up. And it's just time, guys, it is just time. Let's go through the coolest oil system and then maybe tomorrow's video will be what's inside of this box. Cause this, oh my God, this is where the party starts. Well, you guys might've been already excited by stuff like this. Yeah. Well, you know my favorite word right now is billet, or things like this, an actuator. Th that pales, pales in comparison to what I'm about to show you guys right now. Blur out the addresses. Uh, we're key we keyframed prior to filming. <laughs> Black keyframing, uh, filtered, and so on. But let's start with this. This I got this for Jared. Oh man, I'm excited. Yeah, I'll open it for you. <laughs> it's that thing that you always wanted. Dude, are you serious? Yeah. No, no way. Yeah, it's it's. What is it? Remember you said for Christmas you wanted one of these? Dude, Look no way, that. is that a 90 degree angle A in fitting? 20, you know me, I know you, come on. <laughs> I've been saving up. <laughs> <laughs> Jared is 100% correct, this is one piece, that's funny it came in its own separate piece, but Holly and Earl's supplied me with, look at that, that is a 20 AN 90 degree fitting with their nasty whole pipe setup tube set up for the coolant system. But similar to the Corvette, how we used a lot of their products there, this is gonna have coolant just pouring straight through there with larger than an inch internal diameter. Coolant shall flow and coolant needs to flow. You saw in the Corvette videos where I made the tubes, the pipes, the hoses that were capable of handling 500 PSI. This, this specific size is so much larger, I don't think it's 500 PSI, but it's still way the heck up there. You'll hear it right here first. We are in full SEMA prep. It wasn't, that wasn't, I never said that before because I didn't know if I wanted to bring the car to SEMA. It'll, it'll run and do all that, but I was like, that, the stress is just so high. Well, uh, quite a few things have recently happened. It's because of companies like Holly or Gorilla Gloves, Gorilla Grip Gloves, that made this possible. Let's unbox. Let's see what's in this list. Look at that. The guys from Holly have just been amazing, and I will continue to support them as they've, they were the ones that were so lighthearted with our LS Fest adventures. We got quite a few 12 a.n. to gather your thoughts. I need you to gather your thoughts. I can't Rob. do it, Jared. I can't. I'm, I'm too excited. I, I don't care. There's, I'm just seeing. I, the whole reason, guys, I wanted to open this for the last like six hours, and I'm finally getting to see everything. And I'm trying to narrate, but the blood's flowing down here. I'm not. I'm just not gonna lie. And you can't see it. But <laughs> it's at full mass right now, and you won't be able to see it. I am just that excited. This is what makes it possible. Wow. Like collectibles. Look at this, these are three to one AN splitting pieces. So I believe it's eight in, six out. And this is gonna be the last step of my oil system. I'm gonna sleep out here tonight <laughs> and just cuddle all of this. Even something as simple as, see this box right here, the MSD box? All of, the, all of these are Holly based products, but they have a lot of different brand names underneath them. And this is something that I've used in the past. It's a build your own adventure wire kit. There we go. These will be four rotor ignition wires. They're all cut to length. It's got special coating on it. It's tons of insulation for electromagnetic interference. There's just a lot involved, but there's a special tool that you use. That's pretty cool. So here's the tool I was telling you about. 12 to 210s. Because everything, everything on the oil system is going to be all 12 AN. 
from that nasty pump that's belt driven and the dry sump system all the way back through the oil coolers and check this out. This is, this is just a slight hint as to what I'm about to show you. This is the proper way to regulate your fuel. That's a fuel regulator? It's a fuel regulator. You know how the normal ones we have are you know, small like and regulator. compact? <laughs> yeah, this thing can flow. We've got multiple ins, and then the return line is 10 AN. It's a high flow and high pressure regulator. Why, Rob? Why do you need such a massive fuel regulator then? Well, a rocket ship like this needs fuel, and uh, I might have shown you guys some things earlier in the video series, and that's changed a little bit. This is definitely better than Christmas. Ooh, I feel like such a traitor. Look at this. This is a 102 millimeter intake throttle body. And the reason I feel like a traitor is those of you that know, know what this is used for. This is an LS engine upgrade. It's meant for LS vehicles. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, that's billet. Oh my God, I got, we got another video title with billet in it. <laughs> Look at that. Jeez. My turbo is 106 mil. My throttle body is 102. This bolts right up to the, well, the now modified uh, four rotor intake. In, in this box somewhere, there's a little TPS sensor. There's obviously the you know, throttle cable. This is so important because we can ignore the drive-by wire system and just manually adjust this and simple three wire sensor and we can diagnose issues with the four rotor that easily and of course, make all the power possible. This is, this is full flow. Look at that, that much air. Like this, for this, it makes a difference between this and this. That is mind blowing to me. Oh, look at this, hearing aids. So after we blow our eardrums out with the four <laughs> rotor firing up. <laughs> you ever hear somebody with hearing aids or they start squealing? No, I haven't actually. Okay, well. Uh, <laughs> Good luck getting old. <laughs> this is not a hearing aid. Wait, that's not a hearing aid? No, it's not a hearing aid. Why would I have gotten a hearing aid from Holly? <laughs> this is a throttle positioning sensor. It tells the, the position of the throttle. Oh, shit. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. This looks like a, a donut, like an eclair. They shipped me an eclair and there's like <laughs> donut juice. There's donut juice coming out. Yeah. This is an extremely high flow fuel filter. Again, we're building up the suspense on accident because of the order in which we're unboxing these things. Wait till you see why I have so much flow required on the rest of the fuel system. Ooh. <laughs> fuel filter brackets. I know what that is already. You, oh yeah, yeah, you, you oh, know. I clearly know what that is. Yep, it's a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Pepperoni. Half cheese. Ooh, we can smell it. Olives. You guys aren't even ready. You guys aren't even ready. I'm not ready. And the box isn't ready. Oh yeah. <laughs> Holy Christ, <laughs> oh dude. God. Jesus. These are now going to be, uh, you know, you gotta love the titles for this, these videos. These are now gonna be the largest oil coolers ran on an RX-7. I think Hurt has me beat height-wise, but sheer volume. This thing holds more than a quart of oil just inside of it. I think my uh, dry sump is two and a half gallons. This is another quarter gallon. And then as you can imagine, this car has two of these. I get a total of three gallons of oil. Hold on, before you take out the next one, you put it up to the, yeah, put yeah. it up next so to the Corvette. When people upgrade their oil systems on FDs, these are the largest ones you can put on a stock FD. They work wonders, but stock FDs don't have four rotors. Oh my wow. lord. That's that, the size of my MacBook. This, this is actually like bigger than the radiator for the Insight. <laughs> like the Insight radiator is like a third of the thickness. I bet it actually could be ran as a radiator. Wow. These we are going to be running up like this because we don't have a Corvette chassis to deal with. But <laughs> there you go. They're wider. These are the these are the medium width. These are the extra wide. And then there's a more narrow width, just for anybody that's looking at their product lineup. This is what, 24 row? 25 row? This is 34 row. This is a 16 inch total width. And the best feature, this is something that Holly came out with more recently. I was like, oh, I need that. My whole 
oil system is all 12 an and having bottlenecks in an oil system is a bad idea these are 16 an inlets instead of having the neck down to 10 or make adapters or anything like that this is not the bottleneck when we added those two oil coolers to that corvette the oil pressure was solid it was just like it was as if they weren't there obviously the whole system uh, accommodates for it but still the point is the flow was just amazing through those they're not the limiting factor in the oil system not, none of the parts that they've supplied are any bit of a limiting factor there's one there are two i'm, I'm not even going to take that one out because all i can do is damage it but i'll show you where, where these are planned to go we have bell intercooler currently working on the intercooler and radiator and I had to mock it up in CAD because there's just no space for adding as much volume as we're going to do. It's definitely not going to fit in just that hole. I actually have the whole thing turned on an angle like this. If it could clip like a video game, it would go straight down like this. But it takes up as much space, width and height, as physically possible inside of this car. These are like 50,000 to 75,000 BTU thermal rated each. They can handle quite a few British thermal units for those who've ever wondered what BTU stands for. The whole point of AN lines, if, if I haven't already explained that, is that a 16 AN is 16 sixteenths of an inch. 20 is 20 sixteenths, you know, whatever that is, inch and, God, <laughs> four sixteenths, inch and a quarter. So this is inch and a quarter line. So that'll come in really handy for flowing even more coolant, which is why this piece is here. This is the built to Atpex Rob Dom Custom Special. I give Nader nightmares for having to deal with me, but these are 16 to 20 AN lines. And you can see this side's 20, this side's 16. And the reason for that is that there are some limitation to space because of these bolt holes on the stock water cover for the, well, even almost any water cover on an RX-7 or just rotary in general. The ORB, the O-ring boss, flowing nice and beautifully. That sounds so nice, let's make it twice. What my plan was here is simply this. There is nothing smaller than a 12 AN flowing all of the oil. I want the oil to always get to the engine as much as possible. So I, I feel like going larger will never hurt it. Going smaller, now you have a constricted spot that's a, a bottleneck. In this case though, at least the system can always go up to 16 and still flow the same amount. We've got, I can't call this a reducer because it's, it's in this approach, it's not reducing it. 12 going into 16 with that nice ba you know, baffled tank on the side, flowing 35 rows through 16 back to 12. On top of all of this, this pump has a lot of AN fittings. Three of these all vacuum out the oil pan. Those are 12s. There's three cavities on the oil pan, each of them corresponding to these three. This right here is the oil pump to the car. It's funny, this is actually the oil pump. This has nothing to do with getting oil to your engine. This has everything to do with vacuuming oil out of your engine. Jarrett made this comment off camera. He was saying that one of the two oil coolers is almost the size of the radiator on the three rotor. That radiator was able to run the three rotor. That's an, one of two oil coolers for the four rotor. That puts it into perspective, doesn't it? Bell made that for the three rotor and they're making one way more than even 33% bigger than that. It's gonna get big. I, I swear to God, we should try running an Insight off of one of those. I uh, didn't read the packaging slip fully and the one piece I'm about to tell you about, I'm gonna have to wait a couple more days to get it, but in a couple moments, you're gonna see what all of this is building up for. So enjoy right now.